Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Woo! My brain is in overload, you guys. Serious overload. Like, just got back from Aruba, celebrating the top 20 of our company, sat down with Ray Higdon, power, powerhouse. If you guys need to be following him, <laughs> if you are in network marketing, or even want to get into network marketing, like seriously, Ray Higdon is the bomb. Hey, Geneva. So happy to see you guys today. I am like pumped freaking up, pumped up. Hey, Megan, hey everybody. So I never wanna take for granted that you guys know who I am. My name is Kelly Waldeck. I am a freedom freaking chaser, okay? <laughs> I am a proud wife to be. We're actually getting married um, in December. I am a proud stepmom to be of five kids. I am an entrepreneur and I am insanely passionate about helping people win at life through the power of network marketing, through the power of becoming the CEO of their life and of their business. It is my heart. It is my passion. It is my duty. I feel it is my calling to, oh, thank you, Geneva, to just use my experience, use my story, use the, the crazy past that I've had and turn it into a message of hope, of freedom, of love, of, of inspiration, of encouragement to meet people where they're at and to love on you, you know, and to just give you the tools that you have to apply um, in order to live your best life. Um, thank you, Geneva. I appreciate you girls so, so much. So, uh, as you know, or don't know, um, we were blessed, 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 blessed to sit down with the top network marketing guru, teacher, trainer, uh, Ray Higdon in, uh, Aruba. And I took away so, so, so many, uh, nuggets and things that I just cannot wait to share with you guys over the next few weeks. Um, and into my team. Um, and the one thing that I wanted to bring to you today is this rule that he shared with us called the 80-15-5 rule. And I was pretty mind blown with this. Um, it really spoke to me a lot because I feel like I've been doing things the wrong way when onboarding new people onto my team and recognition and um, edification and, and things that we do within our team um, to build the culture, to build people, um, to make people feel valuable as any part of an addition to our team, whether you are a top producer, top leader, top income earner, or you're just somebody in the team that just likes the product, you know, that just wants to be involved in a positive, uplifting community. So this is what he, uh, you know, explained to us, and I really had some huge revelations going on, so I wanted to share them, you know, with you uh, today. So the first one is, okay, when people join network marketing, they all have different levels of desire, okay? Not results, but desire of what they want out of, um, oh yeah, he is, Kenny, <laughs> of what they want out of this opportunity, okay? So when you think about the level of desire, okay, 80%, this is a huge number, you guys, 80%. Hey, Corinne. Hey, Candace. Let me know you're here. Give me a heart, a thumbs up. So thankful that you're here and joining today. 80% um, of people in your whole entire organization, they are okay with making zero to $500 a month. They're okay with just maybe getting their product for free. They, they just, they love feeling a part of something bigger than themselves. They are the ones that, you know, are okay with going to events, high-fiving you, taking selfies with you, posting it on social media that they met you, that they were at this amazing event. Uh, but they're not, they're not, they're okay with not producing. Okay, so that's 80% of people in your downline, right? Um, they love the product. They love the community. Hey, Monica. Hey, Jesse. Um, hey, Becca. And so they're not there to be high producers. They're not there to be high recruiters. They just want to be 
happy. They want to have fun. They want to, uh, like I said, be involved in a, in a positive environment, something that they can just tap into at the end of their day, see what everybody's doing and be like, you know what? I'm on a pretty cool team. These people are rocking. They are pretty badass, you know, and they're okay with that. And so we have to treat our team differently. You know, we have to understand that there's different levels of success. And so everybody's different. Everybody wants different things. And so, you know, what happens is, is when we as a team leader, you know, the five percenters, people like me, um, are pushing people to do more or only recognizing the top producers or the top recruiters that are recruiting five, 10 people a week, you know, the 85 percenters, the ones that are just okay with having, you know, free products or just being involved, they're just like, hmm, I can't do what they do. I don't want to do what they do. So I don't feel like I really belong here or I don't feel like, you know, I'm a value to this team because I'm not what that person is. Right. And so we have to now and I, me included, you know, I was like, boom, oh, this is a light bulb because I'm just like, why isn't everybody like me? Why doesn't everybody want to like build a huge income and retire their families and stay home with their kids and because that's only the five percenters, maybe the 15%. The 15% probably do want that. Um, the 15 percenters are the ones who um, are okay. They're, they want to make between two and $3,000 a month. That's a pretty good chunk of income. You know, that's a pretty good substantial income from home, right? So here's what we need to do. We need to edify and strengthen and celebrate 85 percenters. If, if somebody's been struggling for six months and they just get their one customer, right? Shout that person out, celebrate, have them jump on a team call and let that person know like, you know what? You never gave up. You are amazing. You never gave up. You finally got one customer to join our team. And that is insane because most people after six months would have given up. Hey, would you mind jumping on a team call and sharing what made you not give up? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Wendy. Nice to see you, ladies. So, you know, what was it that made you not give up? And so that right there is a huge success story for the 85 percenters who were just cool with hanging out. And that one little story might inspire them. Well, man, if Susie, after, you know, six months, just got her first distributor or her first business partner, I can do that. You know, so it's keeping those 85 percenters feeling of value, edifying any little thing that they do, reaching out to them and just saying, hey, I'm thankful that you're a part of our team, you know, and just keeping them happy. Because here's the reality of things, right? If we're building a team and say our goal is like 500,000, right? Wouldn't you rather have 500,000 in your downline on auto ship, right? On an auto ship creating volume and residual income for your team, and keeping everybody happy and then having those five percenters because that's how long it's going to take to find five percenters that want to go to the top. Hey, Loria. Um, that's mind blowing to me. Right. So we have to remember that when we're when we're pushing our team and when we're putting things out there that wouldn't it be awesome to have a thousand people on your team strive a push for one week to get one customer rather than a hundred people striving for five distributors and those 85 percenters are going, mm, I'm going to back out of this challenge of this push because I, I can't do five. I can't do five distributors. I can't do five business partners, right? But I can do one customer. So it's having that mindset, you guys having that different approach. And this was like mind, mind blowing to me. So, um, with the 15 percenters, this is what, how we need to approach the 15 percenters, the ones that are showing up. They are making $2,000 to $3,000 a month. They want that, right? Um, if they come to me and they say, Kelly, you know, I'm in a rut. I don't know how to get myself out of a rut. I feel like I'm talking to people, but I'm not getting anywhere. Um, we have to give these people a little bit of a homework, right? I'm going to say to that person, you know what? And, and they want to get on a phone with me. They want to get on a phone call with me. But what I used to do was, is yeah, here's my call schedule. Like, let's get on a call. Like, let's figure this thing out. Right. I want to encourage those 15 percenters 
to figure things out on their own, to come up with their own solutions, put something to a test, right? I'm going to say, you know what? Yeah, I will love to get on a call with you. I love your hustle, things like that. Um, let me tell you what, take these scripts, read this personal development book, watch this training, right? Go talk to 10 people, send me the screenshots of how the conversation went. Let me know that you did your homework. And then let's evaluate and we'll get on a call and be solution minded together, right? Because I want people to take that initiative, those 15 percenters, to uh, level up and take themselves to the next level um, by applying things, right? By, by being sharpened and molded by personal development, by trainings, by other people who are doing things. Hey, Aaron, Hey, Anthony, by, by people that are applying these things, right? So those 15 percenters, that's 15%, right? Of your, of your business, right? So here's, here's the five percenters. Okay. The five percenters are people that, that are making $25,000 a month, right? They are the top producers. They are the top income earners, right? Now, <laughs> to find those five percenters, you guys, it's going to take time. Listen, 80% 80, 80 is what takes your downline, right? Is what is what supplies your downline, 80%. The ones that are just cool with being around the campfire, the ones that just like to have the product for free, they're cool with only making zero to $500 a month. They're cool with that, right? But to find the five percenters, it you're welcome, Jessica, thank you. But to find the five percenters, um, you're gonna have to recruit, right? You're gonna have to recruit like crazy, right? To be at the top. You're gonna have to talk to hundreds of people, right? To find those five percenters. But let me tell you, those five percenters are out there. They are out there. There are people who will hustle, who will work, who want to be home with their families, who are struggling at their jobs, who feel unappreciative, unmotivated. Hi, Irene. Hey, Tiffany. And who when you come along are going to be a complete blessing for them, right? And so 80, 15, five rule. You guys remember this, you know, it is going to change the way you look at your business and it's going to change the way that you relate to people because you know, I feel like myself, you know, I am that five percenter that, or right now I'm at 15, but <laughs> I'm striving for five, you know, that income goal. Um, and so I push business, business, business on my new recruits and I'm realizing that they're not, most people, 85% of them are not comfortable talking about the business. You know, they're not, they're not business minded. They've never done network marketing before. You know, they're more comfortable inviting people in to share their product and then hopefully turning those people into a business builder because they love the product. They love the community, uh, you know, things like that. So upgrading them as time goes on. And so, or them just being happy with the product, right? So I've had a huge, huge shift. I know that I've started implementing a few things already this week and I've seen a huge, huge change um, in my mindset, in my business, and and more importantly, um, in my team. So you're welcome, Darrell. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, super appreciative of you guys showing up and giving me some, some appreciation. I love it. Uh, so remember the 80 15 five rule, right? We just want to keep people around the campfire. We just want to keep people to give them what they came here to get and for them to give what they came into our community to give. That's what it's about. It's about giving and, and taking. It's about uh, meeting people where they're at, loving them for where they're at. Cool. You don't want to produce? Fine. Don't produce. You want to be a freaking rock star? I'm going to run with you and show you how to be a rock star. Okay. So keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much. And as always, if you find this helpful, of value, um, share, like, comment with your teams. Uh, I greatly appreciate all your support. Um, I will see you guys on Thursday uh, at noon. And if you, oh, Aaron, you're so sweet. I'm so proud of you, girl. Hey, Stacy. Um, you know, if you guys have some questions or concerns, some topics that you'd like for me to cover, I would love to listen to you guys. Hey, Lynn's, I would love to listen to got, got to little, little. I would love to listen to what you want and some things that you want to hear from me about. Um, but be ready, <laughs> be ready for 
amazing content in the next few weeks because Ray Higdon dropped some bombs and I can't wait to share with you guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. Go out there, do your best, uh, and just change a life today. Be a blessing to somebody, okay? Have an awesome day. Bye, guys.